What is a server? In computing, a server is a dedicated computer or device that provides functionality on behalf of other devices or clients. This architecture is called the client-server module. Servers can provide various functionalities, often called services, such as sharing resources or data among multiple clients or even performing computation for a client. Now, a server could be dedicated to handle one of these services only where you would have one dedicated server for a website, one server for data storage, and a server for email. And this is a model what larger organizations use. Well, you can also set up a server to handle each of these services on the same machine, which is what typically happens in smaller organizations. And when we talk about servers, they're generally serving a lot of computers. So people at home don't need that because they only have one, two, three, or four computers. Servers enable you to control and distribute information as well as a way to protect the information. Servers can be distinguished into two main types of servers, a physical server and a virtual server. Physical servers are dedicated servers which use the traditional CPU and RAM for that one server. Virtual servers, however, use hypervisor to divide the physical server into two or more virtual servers, which share the resources like CPU and RAM with two or more other servers. Most of the servers in enterprises and cloud are virtual servers. Businesses need servers to run 24-7 because they're vital to an organization. And if a server fails, then the business could suffer losses or jeopardize the business or an organization. So this is why servers need to be more reliable. They need to be built with the right resources like high computing CPUs and RAM. Servers and server components need to be redundant, meaning if one component or the server fails, it shouldn't impact the whole server. Servers need to be set up in a redundant fashion. In case a server goes down, then another server should be available to serve the request from desktop clients. In AWS, you can set up the servers in multiple availability zones in order to avoid an outage, similarly in Azure and GCP. A server should also have a redundant hot swappable hard drive in the RAID configuration. Because if a hard drive were to fail, then no data loss would happen and the server would still be up and running because of RAID configuration. RAID makes it possible to copy the data onto multiple disks. And if a hard drive fails, then it can be removed and replaced without shutting down the whole server. And then RAID would rebuild the data onto the new hard drive automatically. The servers should also have redundant fiber channel adapters and power supplies. Since servers are used by multiple desktop clients, they need to have multiple processor environments. Example, IBM CPU. IBM servers use power CPU in their different servers, which is a high computing CPU power. Example, AWS cloud servers. They have a high computing CPU power. Application server. An application server is a program that handles all application operations between users in an organization's backend business applications or data. This type of service typically used for complex transactions-based applications cloud server, rather than being proved by a single server or virtual server, cloud server hosting services are provided by multiple character servlets that comprise. Server Operating System Any server also needs to use a server operating system, such as Linux, Windows Server, Mac, OS Server, and so on. Server operating systems are robust and stable and they're designed to run non-stop and are able to handle thousands of concurrent connections. Now, there are many different types of servers. Types of servers. There are many types of servers depending on what server is hosting on it. For example, a web server. A database server. This type of server hosts data in the backend. A web server that hosts a website. The web server will run the web server software, like HTTP, NGINX, it contains all the website's data, including the HTML code and graphics. Another type of server is an email server. An email server is what facilitates the sending and receiving of email. DNS server is a server dedicated to resolving domain names. Hope you liked the video.
please like, comment, share, and subscribe.